finished up with this beauty. We've uh, got the doors and front end out for paint right now. And uh, we're just putting some temp in it, working on the startup right now, and uh, trying to get going for the week. It's looking good. So what's going on guys welcome back to pfi speed we have been super crazy lately we tried to get ready for streetcar takeover last week ended up getting rained out but we had a good time yeah. it was a lot of fun and we're out there supporting our boys and and having a lot of fun we've uh if you've been following me on social media a lot of you guys may or may not know our good friend tom had a heart attack and uh he's dealing with that right now so you guys keep him in your prayers rooting him on He's fighting for his life right now and uh, we wanna we wanna be there for him. So today we are working on getting this ready to test on Wednesday. It really turned out good. It is a B18C with a 6785 precision turbo, Gato intercooler, speed factory radiator, uh, Gato intake manifold. Um, these are our uh, 2200cc injectors, the Bosch ones we sell. Okay. We got the Magnus Pro Slipper, um, the Fuel tech, dual boost valve. Our smart coils. You know, we were on a pretty time sensitive crunch on this thing. Yeah. So we got pretty creative on the wiring harness. We ended up using a V8. So it's the Pro, the Pro V8, Pro 600 V8 harness. Yep. So it was the Ford one for the right firing order. Um, so it was like using a universal four cylinder harness. Yep. But this doesn't come with the coil harness. So, so we had to. We just right. had to you know change some ends on the injectors you know wire yep. the cam and crane which i did in the video with yeah. play here yeah so and then we just made a sub harness for the coils yeah you know, and then we good. wired our you know boost solenoid and our slipper and stuff like that in but it had all the oil pressure fuel pressure you know back pressure all yep. that normal stuff we've got egts for it we've got a back pressure for it we just need to when we pull this stuff apart to paint this we can put the bungs in for the yep. egts and the back pressure we just want to get testing the car and working it out. So we've got a PPG trans and then, and we got the fuel tech strain stuff and the fuel tech eight button. And then it's on a, a FT 600 and this one. So. so yeah, it's been really cool. So this car, we actually, they bought, cause we weren't originally going to add the cage in the other car. We were just going to replace the car. Yep. And then we decided, you know, just to add to the cage. Yep. So we have this. This car they bought, this was one of the old cheapy cars. Yep, this was Alex it was Soda's pretty, car. It was pretty stripped down. There wasn't suspension yep. on it. There wasn't brakes. There wasn't brake lines. There wasn't... Yeah, it was just lines. a shell. There wasn't anything. There wasn't, you know, there was doors, but the hinges were like half messed up. No front end, you know. Trunk stuff was pretty messed up. Just all that kind of stuff. So just kind of added some stuff on the cage and then just built a car from bare nothing basically. right you know, added got, the carbon dash yeah we got fcs trailing arms on it yep um, our friends over fcs you guys have seen the video with with uh we put them on jamie's car um we've been putting them on all the front wheel drive stuff we're able to extend the wheelbase out a little bit make the car a little longer 60 yep. foot a little better yep. um so it's all those little things that add up oh, yeah. we've also got the fcs lower so front lower arms front side, i don't know if yep. i can get to it with this camera but it's in there and uh we'll be adding traction bars to it all that kind of stuff but you know all the safety stuff you know catch pan all that stuff is in it we leave the catch pans off to dine them so we see if there's problems but uh, it's all the blocks um drag pro plus suspension yeah it's pretty nice stuff the blocks oh, drag pro drag pro plus yeah. the blocks drag pro plus stuff is really nice it's uh my first got time getting to play with it was on steven's car and i was like man this is actually yeah. this is pretty sweet the motion like, piece too yeah so guys this is available for motion raceworks and they originally had made this for um air to water intercoolers to be a nice little a pass through, pass -through. and on the import cars it works perfect to go over the ac hole and then comes to our catch can 
right here, the Gato one, and then we use this clear hose to take the any excess air or vent anything out the back, just so we don't. It pukes, it, you know, if, if it pukes, it really puked because it has to go uphill all the way to the roof, yep. and then back out the back out of the hose. Yep. But then it's behind the car. Yep. And we're yeah. trying to just vent anything behind the car. So if, if things let go, we don't put oil on the tire. We don't put the thing in the wall. There'll be a cleanup, but it's better just clean it up. A touch of fluid, then a right. touch of fluid and an accident. All right. And then we did these Belloc wheels. They these turned out the, really sweet. These are the 11 wide double bead, double bead locks. And we had a lot of time in clearancing these wheels. Yeah. So the that's why- didn't have brakes, so it was parts store brakes, which are a little bit bulkier than the factory brakes. Yep. Um, depending on which brakes you have, depends on if you have to grind the bleeder and you know what mounts you have to grind and everything but it's kind of a thing and that's kind of why we've slowed down on making some of the videos because we've got a lot of time in this and late a lot of late nights so we oh, haven't been, been a couple of weeks of late nights yep so we've been tackling this bad boy so that's where we've been and then i have been working on showing up um as you can see i've gotten this stuff all fitted up i've got to do a little rubber seal here for the window here and then i've got the back window nearly cut out i got my rough cut and now i've got to fine tune this and then get the back window in and then the passenger door and uh we're getting really close so hopefully i'm on the dyno with that this week or possibly next we're getting really close and i'm getting excited for sure uh but today we're going to be tuning on derek's new car and this thing i i wish i could describe this purple or you guys could see it in the sun because so it's a house it is of colors awesome. it's got really big flake in it yeah and it's, it just goes deep when so it's in the sun there's a couple pieces we're waiting on still so it's got the carbon roof we've yep. got a carbon hatch on the way but waiting on that yep so he just painted the stock hatch um we've got carbon doors on the way yep but they're gonna they're still a few weeks out so he painted the stock doors so we can throw on it uh, we've got a Franks the Franks G2 front end. Yep, I, I love those So ones. that's getting painted to match the car and then the carbon hood, of course. Yep. So it'll be painted except for the carbon hood, doors, roof, and trunk. And yep. then he's got a carbon gas door on the way because the car didn't have one. And then we also run the G4 shifter. Yeah, yeah the G4 shifter. And then Robert from Hush came through with this cool bracket that mounts the uh, staging brake on it and the shifter, sandwiches it all together. And that bracket fits K series, fits B series. So that is a really cool piece. If you need something like that, Robert at Hush Performance, and it he's a guy. And the floor. That's a big thing with these. Yeah. You have to cut out some of the tunnel there yep. for that shifter and then mounting it, you're always kind of looking for something to sandwich it with. So you're putting plates and stuff there, but that's a big, nice big universal plate for it. Yep. And then the Motion Raceworks um, single gate CO2 kit. Yep. So, you know, we run as many, as much Motion Raceworks parts on our stuff as possible, support our boys. Everything's made in America. Um, as long as, as well as the Gato stuff is all made in America. So, you know, we're trying to support our boys and really make some of this stuff happen. So I think we're going to get to, uh, the tuning and setting up and, uh, we'll bring you guys some rips. And then we just got a little part from Tim McAmis. Oh, check out the cool little note. Love the YouTube and watching all the shenanigans. Hopefully this adjuster plate works for you. Awesome. So this is your clutch switch adjuster plate because we're going to have to adjust that a lot. Yeah, so the, to do the two-step stuff on this trans with the slipper clutch and stuff, you need a nice adjustable bracket. Tim Gamis was able to hook it up and help us out. Appreciate that. And uh, cool note. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so working hard towards getting her done. Yep. Little stuff showing up. <laughs> Check the torque on the wheels and everything already. 
Did we check the torque on the wheels and everything? Or? Um, we have, but it went to alignment. I don't know if they took it off or not. Okay. Sorry, we got a little guy about to commit suicide. Frog almost ran under the tire. Save your life, little toad. Get out of here. Get out of here now. No, get, get, get. He was about to die. I was 380 horsepower, so that'd only make a couple pounds of boost. Yeah. And that's fat. 12 pounds. Really? Yeah, you know, but it's at one pound and 6,000. Where's your frog back? Huh? Your frog's back. Ugh, he's gonna looking to die. He's on the dyno roller. Get out of here, toad. Your pressure's only 40. Cleaner. Huh? It's cleaner towards the end, yeah. Yeah. 10 pounds, 25 degrees, 6 8, pulling 17, 18. You know, it's 6 8, and we're calling for 6 8. I mean, 10 pounds, 418. We're getting close. All right, so we've made a couple pulls that just been kind of fat. So we're crisping, so we're crisping up the tune and we're ready to go. Five out here. All right. So we just ran through a few things, drained the catch can. Uh, 
got this bad boy set up and uh, we're gonna try to apply some boost to it now and hopefully we can make some power. What's your sensor saying? That's got to be the one, right? One of them's dim, has the light on, but dim. The other one's bright. What's, which one's blinking? So that's the side it's leaking out of. Yeah, that is the side. Are we, maybe we're backwards. and that was definitely on the right path. It just feels so lazy. Huh? It just feels so lazy. Well, you know, if these are different cams... It could be the webs that are in the other cars. Okay. I think that's the same. I 32 know. pounds and I called for 25. So we overshot quite a bit. Yeah. Ignition 14 degrees, so that's pretty soft. No okay. Yeah. 6 8 Pulling 10. But I mean, it doesn't like, see it's like no boost, no boost, no boost at 70, 80. You know, it gets to 14 pounds Should at 70, smoke it? 70. Yes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and smoke check it. Yeah, we should see what cams are in it. So we're gonna pull the valve cover. We're gonna see what cams are in it. Um, I'm gonna smoke it real quick, make sure everything else is good. And uh, keep kind of pushing. I don't know if this one has the webs or the scout cams. So we've got the smoker hooked up. You guys have seen us do this before. Let's once fill her up. Twice. Yeah, once or twice. I hear something. I hear something. Let's go. Is there no O ring in that? Guaranteed, 100%. Joe, put it on. 100%. Nope, there's, there's no ring, ring, but it's smashed right there. It's smashed right there. There's the problem. But there was an no O-ring. So. There was an no O-ring. It's just leaking out of half of it. Yep. Those things that happen. They're, these things are hard to get on. They're like a seal bit, so you kind of... The trick kind of is roll it back as you're putting it on. So then when it goes on, it rolls itself on. Got the new O-ring putting that on and uh, we should seal up. We're gonna hit it with the smoker again as soon as we tighten this up, check for anything else. But that should explain our low spool and uh, why it's taking so much boost to make power. Yeah, that was a healthy air leak. It was, that was before yeah. smoke. Yeah. And that's the correct amount of clicks. Yeah. <laughs> Lamp here, this one up here, they both have O-rings in them. So those are spots to check. See if it's pushing past the O-rings and it doesn't look like it is right now. Nice. And this you can always see the button in them that yep. gets locked. Right. That's There's three buttons right on it. 
three buttons so when you weld it try and aim it to where one of those is easily viewable you see these are do you see any smoke down there i don't see anything down there so right now it smells like baby oil in the room <laughs> I feel like it doesn't show me anywhere to put gate pressure, you know what I mean? And it is set to 75. Let's get target pressure overall trim. Yeah, yeah, it is set to 75. Bottle set to 75, that's at 75. I was targeting 25 and we made 32. 32. So seven pounds, 33, 33, so seven pound difference. Yeah, it's kind of out there, isn't it? Man, and what was it trying? Is. Uh, yours is? Wastegate pressure, 27. Oh, look at my pressure. There you go. So we got noise in the sensor or is that the PID? So what we're looking at right now is um, this is the wastegate the CO2 the pressure. Dome pressure. Yeah, the dome pressure. And you can the, or gate pressure is 30 and the target's 25 right there. So then it pulls it back down to 249, 249. So it's 25. And then it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. You see the increase and decrease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. So, working hard right there. Yep. But we overshot our target. Yeah, you know I mean, we might need to just give it one more, one more hit. All right. So since we overshot, we put the boost down at 20, just so we can try to get a little more data and manage the boost control, and uh, see if we can't get this thing solved, because it should spool a whole lot faster now since we fixed that o-ring so like it came in about the same and what did it make for boost that time it's downloading 28 just like we said 28 that's only 15 degrees of timing so still pretty on the soft side it just takes so long to spool yeah i thought for sure that would change it we need to pull the valve cover and look at the cams. Yep. Yeah, we said we were going to do that. Because I'm at 7,000 and I'm barely at five pounds of boost. And then it doesn't make 25 pounds until 83. So it's either the cams or the turbo. Yep. And I mean, we are getting some oil out the exhaust. Yeah, if that turbo's got to spin through fluid, it's not going to be happy. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a puddle, puddle, but it's... Yeah, I'm feeling you, though. That, to me, says it's seeping through the... V-band. V-band. We've got another turbo, if that's, the, if that's the problem. You know what I mean? I mean, it spins effortlessly. Yeah. Webs, huh? It is the webs. All right, so we changed the front wheels, reason being, these tires were just some rollers, um, but uh, this tire straight got chewed up, and it's not worth making rips on that at 100 plus miles an hour. So, got those changed out. Uh, we went through things and we're ready to rip again.
Jamie's behind the keyboard and we're gonna see what kind of power we can make. The team. <laughs> Pounds, it could probably be 21. And it was all over the tire. Yeah, it was all over the tire. You made 30. And you can see it spun the tire. So 99, yeah. came up, back down. 98, and I clicked out. You can see. But I mean, the fuel, look at that, dude. I'm within 1%. Yeah. That's pretty good. So that was 833 horsepower. Not too bad. Spooled much faster. We uh, took everything apart. Went through things, put it back together. Woke right up. You're crying? Jamie made me cry again. Why are you crying? Too much power. <laughs> I hate it when it's that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go to fourth and just make sure we're good and then. <laughs> Some more fuel in it. He's gonna set stuff up and we're probably gonna throw this bad boy in fourth gear and uh, see how she does. I'll dino sauce the tires as well. As you guys know, dino sauce keeps these things hooked up. Still climbing pretty decent. So. Yeah. These tires shake like crazy. Yeah, we were watching the other ones. Woo. It was like rattling my brain apart. I look like it, it's up, baby. Good job. So we just got to play with some wiring. Yep. And then check the speed that sensors up. and the strength. Yep. Done deal. Good work. So that's thirty pounds back where you were yeah but you can see diesel we still get that a little bit so yeah i think so that's what i thought it only hits as soon as it comes off throttle Poof. And you still see it yeah, it's cooking. Oil. It's oil. That's what they said they got the restrictor in the turbo, but I think we should check. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. We got Derek's heart. We got Derek's hot rod all buttoned up. We're going to be taking it to the track this Wednesday. So we're going to go test it out and see how it performs. Pretty excited about that. Um, I'll also be trying to get on showing up here and uh, get the window all in, get the door on, and uh, try to button this thing up. Sealer. See if we can't, yeah, seal her up. Sealer on it. See if we can't get it on the dyno and uh, get things going with that too. Uh, remember to keep my buddy Tom in your prayers and, uh, and uh, let's keep rooting him on. He's fighting for his life. So guys, we appreciate you guys watching. Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow.